What up you guys, Chef Billy Parisi here from BillyParisi.com and we're continuing on with this cleanse, this detox, going to be making a homemade paleo granola that you can eat for every breakfast. It's amazing, you're gonna love it. Let's get after it. Trust me when I say this, this whole clean eating thing is definitely new to me, but I've really enjoyed the way that I felt the last few weeks. I mean, dude, I've got energy. I've literally cut my afternoon coffee. I feel that good. We've made that chicken detox soup. We've made that shaved Brussels sprout salad. Now we're gonna be making a paleo granola. Dude, I know it, I get it. You're used to seeing me hooking up those lasagna bolognese and desserts, bread puddings. I mean, this is different. I'm not saying I'm gonna stick with it. I just wanna do a cleanse for a few weeks. So let's continue on and hook up this recipe. To start, we need to pulse some raw nuts. So in a food processor, go ahead and add in some almonds, followed up with some cashews, next some pecans, and last but not least, some walnuts. We're gonna put that top of to the food processor on, and we are gonna pulse probably close to 30 times. We want this to be a little bit gritty. You'll see that the nuts are gonna break down. That's totally cool. I would say the biggest piece of nut that you want in there is gonna be about the size of a half of a peanut. Maybe like a big piece of rice or something. Maybe around that, does that make sense? Cool. Once we are at that point, let's go ahead and take it off the food processor, transfer it over to a really large bowl. Now, it's really time to hit it with a ton of seeds. And trust me, I've got a lot of seeds to do. Let's start by adding in some raw sunflower seeds. Next, some chia seeds. Oh, this is gonna be fibrous. Some flax seeds. And last but not least, some pepitas. Okay, this is it for seeds and nuts. This is everything. This is super paleo. Paleo is kind of grain-free, all natural. Tons of nuts, you can see that this thing is loaded down. It is paleo, and I don't even cook paleo, so this is new to me too, all right? Bear with me. I promise it's worth it, it's super good. I swear to gosh. So, what we're gonna do now is flavor this beast up. We are gonna cook these slow roasted in the oven in some coconut oil. So go ahead and add some melted coconut oil all over to the top of this. Next, we're going to sprinkle on some ground cinnamon. Hit it with some vanilla extract, a little bit of maple syrup. This is natural, not refined sugar. See, it's paleo, I told you. Last but not least, just a bit of sea salt to help season everything. Now using a rubber spatula, completely combine this mixture. Make sure that it all comes together. Take a few minutes to do this. And now transfer it over to a cookie sheet tray that's lined with parchment paper get all of it, use that rubber scraper to get every last little seed morsel out of that bowl. And now using the back of that rubber scraper, we're simply gonna spread it out. We wanna flatten it, we want it to cover all the surface area because I don't know about you, but I love those big sort of granola chunks. And that's what we're gonna do here by making sure it's sort of flat and pressed together. So once it is at this point, we're going over to an oven. I'm cooking it in between 235 and 240 degrees. I've done both. They both work great for 90 minutes. So go find something to do for 90 minutes. Come back. We're gonna finish up this recipe. All right, you all, the paleo granola is finished. Looks awesome. Smells super good in this place. Can't wait to finish it up. Now we need to let it sort of cool to room temperature for 30 minutes. So go ahead and add it to a rack. Now I'm going to sprinkle on some unsweetened coconut flakes. Next, some raisins. We're just gonna sort of let that integrate and cool down with the granola. And in the meantime, I love paleo granola for cereal. I just like to eat it that way, it's super simple. You can obviously use it in smoothie bowls or anything else that you wanna do, but I like it for cereal. So what I'm gonna do is show you how to do two different bowls. But first, we're gonna prep up. So I've got some kiwi, because that is in season in the winter time. Next, I've got some beautiful, delicious apples that we are going to medium dice. I've also got some pears, great in season fruit. Last but not least, I've got some mandarin oranges. Gonna add a little tang to this recipe. 
Now let's go ahead and make our first bowl. Go over to the granola, it's nice and cooled down, just using a spoon to sort of break it up, split it into smaller chunk, bite-sized pieces. If you like those big chunks, leave them big, but just sort of break it down a little bit to more edible sized pieces. Now for our first bowl, go ahead and add some granola to a bowl. I'm gonna be using almond milk. You can also use coconut milk, soy milk, or even regular milk, totally up to you guys. Now let's go ahead and add on our apples, pears, mandarin oranges, some of that sliced kiwi, and last but not least, some bananas because they are always in season. Looks beautiful, perfect. Now let's do this if we were making it in the summertime. So a fresh new bowl of granola with again, almond, coconut, soy, or regular milk. Let's go ahead and add on some blackberries, blueberries, raspberries, strawberries, last but not least, bananas. Boom, you are set for winter and summer. This paleo granola is awesome, let's try it out. I mean, can you believe that I, Chef Billy Parisi, straight up made paleo granola on video? I know what is the world coming to, but let's try it out, I know it's good. Mmm, super good. I mean, it's grain-free, it's all nuts and seeds, it's crazy, it's so good. The coconut, the raisins, love that addition. The savor from the cinnamon, sweetness from the maple, and all those amazing nuts. Whoa, super good. Can't wait to get into these bowls. Come back next week. I think we got, what, like two recipes left for the cleanse detox. Maybe we'll keep it going after that. Maybe we'll go back to some other things. But I don't know. Come back and see us, all right? We'll see y'all. Mmm. Mm.